Hi Stranglers fans, hi Punk fans, hi Vinyl fans, and finally, hi Rare Punk Vinyl fans. Um, I'm about to show you something really, really, really super rare um, amongst Stranglers fans, um, the ones that collect vinyl from everywhere. Actually, with Stranglers um, collecting fans, um, they don't seem to just be collecting vinyl from the UK, let's say. They collect it, like myself, worldwide. So uh, amongst that enclave of Stranglers fans, this is pretty damn rare. Um, I'm just going to mention this this one time in this video is that um, back in 2008, yes, it's that old thing again, when the banker's crash happened and I had to sell everything, this particular record was the one that I was loath to let go and it absolutely broke my heart when I had to sell it. Because at that time, back in 2008, I knew how rare it was. And I knew that in the future, I probably wouldn't be able to own it again. Um, that is, until today. 13 years after I sold my copy. So, uh, allow me to show you The Stranglers No More Heroes from Brazil. This has the bubble font, which uh, doesn't appear anywhere else on any other Stranglers release, nor does the font used for the Stranglers band name. Uber rare. They are just not out there. I had to contact um, a private seller on a hunch that he might have one, that he might want to let go. And luckily, um, he did have one. And, you know, I'm, I'm so sorry, but it sounds like he's in the same straits that I was, was back in 2008. Um, but he was willing to sell. So he did, and I am the very lucky recipient of that. Uh, and the back cover is almost as unique. Superb. Now this particular one is a promotional copy that got sent out to radio stations. So it does have blue stamp. Uh, it doesn't have that on the other side. Vinyl, by the way, is, is pretty much minty mint. And uh, yeah, my my original copy didn't have the, the promo stand by this. So it was just a standard one that, that hit the shops. I mean, I've actually got guys on the ground in Brazil uh, looking for this for me, and they can't find one anywhere. Um, so it's ironic that I managed to find one here in England due to a hardened Stranglers collector. So this is really the, the cherry of, of my collecting cake. Uh, it certainly was back in 2008 um, and it has to retain that title today to be honest um, there's a few other little things I want to collect uh, luckily they don't have the, the the hard ability um, of finding these things out in the wild so I should be able to pick up what I what I want pretty much easily even though it'll be at a pretty penny um, but there's things that I do want which I've never owned such as test pressings uh, you know acetates uh, record company paraphernalia from the band and uh, other stuff from far and away distant lands I'm sure there's a JJ Bunnell quote in there somewhere um, so yeah th this is um, I can't, uh, I can't say it enough how rare this this beast is. Really can't. So I thought before the uh, the evening faded away and it turned to dark, I wanted to get as much light in the room as I could. Uh, I thought I would show you it. Get it back in the case again. Come on, in you go. 
In you go, that's it. There she goes. So, thank you uh, for watching this. And uh, I hope I've piqued your interest. Um, not much more to say, really. Um, I have had a couple more releases, not from the Stranglers, but uh, through to me this week. One was, um, if you look back on the last video I did on this channel, you'll see that it was a PJ Harvey one, the Her uh, Her Her demos album with a signed art print, which is very, very nice. But today landed uh, the proper album from um, her merchandise saw from a contraband merch rock merchandise saw. Oh, I'm so tired, sorry. Um, the proper uh, her, her album. So um, I shall be showing you what that's all about in some video at some point when I can get over this feeling of complete tiredness. So, um, ah, whatever, whatever. I shall see you on the next video. It may not be The Stranglers, but then again, it just might be. Thanks for watching.